February 28th, 2023, and I am back for another monthly floss tube update. Uh, I'm, I'm Rainy, by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> welcome. If you're new, uh, welcome back if you're returning. Um, yeah, so I, <laughs> this is kind of funny. I had gotten a message from my friend Kim at Contented, the Contented Needleworker Kim, um, just the other day, <laughs> just checking on me and making sure that I was okay because she hadn't heard from me in a while, meaning she hadn't like seen any videos from me in a while. And I thought, oh, that's nice, you know. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, I'm okay. I've just, I've just been really busy, you know. And uh, hadn't really thought that it had been that long since I'd made a video. And uh, then in the same day, like within probably 20 minutes of me talking to Kim, um, a commenter commented on one of my uh, videos that she hadn't seen me in a while and she was hoping that everything was okay. <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh, has it really been that long since I've put out a video? Um, like, that was my first thought. And then my second thought was, wow, some people really care if they see some videos from me. <laughs> I just hadn't really thought that it was that big of a deal to people. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, granted, it wasn't like hundreds of people uh, concerned for my well-being. But... <laughs> But still, it was like, oh, it's nice. A couple people that were like, hey, I, I would like to see a video from you. <laughs> so um, so here I am. I am fine, um, you know, relatively speaking. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just, I think February just kind of got away from me. Um, as you will see from one of my projects, I kind of got a little bit obsessed and probably will be for a little while. So I think that's kind of where a lot of my um, my energy uh, went <laughs> in the month of February. I didn't read much in February. Um, I li uh, well, I listened to a lot of audiobooks, which I consider to be reading, but um, you know, just a different form of reading. <laughs> and uh, but I I I still didn't even listen to a lot of audiobooks. Um, I basically watched a lot of YouTube, a lot of floss tube, a lot of book tube, a lot of planning tube. I don't know if they have a name for that. And some Bible journaling tube. <laughs> and then um and then I just stitched for like a month. And yeah, I would I listened to some books. Um but I just I didn't really do that part of my YouTube hobby. <laughs> much at all in February, which really saddens me because um, this month in the booktube world was Feb Regency, and it's put on by a lot of my favorite people. And both years that they've done it, I just really had not participated to the fullest. And I don't know what it is when like, I think what I think what it is, is like in January, you're all gung ho for all the things. So like I was all gung ho for all the books I was going to be reading, all the things I was going to be stitching. So I went like, you know, full force in January. And then I think I just burned myself out by February. So, you know, future Rainy needs to remember this for next January, not to burn myself out. Sorry, you're going to get a couple of jump cuts because I forgot to bring water upstairs with me. Um, so but I don't really want to extricate myself from my sitting area. So, um, but anyway, I want this to be a relatively short video because I also want to film a booktube video today. So um, let's just jump right into the stitching. Uh, I don't have any haul and I do have one piece of uh, stitchy kindness uh, that I almost forgot about. So I'm gonna have to put, I'll put that in at the end. But um, yeah, this, this month has just seemed like a blur. And I, just as I was sitting down, I was like, oh, I have that stitchy kindness that I should have, um, you know, got gotten ready. <laughs> and uh, I was like, was that just in February? <laughs> I feel like, I feel like it was like a long time ago, but then at the same time, I feel like it just happened. It, craziness. So anyway, 
Let's get to the stitching. <laughs> I have no finished object. Oh, no. <gasps> Back up the train. I forgot. I do have a finished knitting item, uh, but I no longer have them because they have gone to the recipient. Um, but I will just show them here. Um, they are the Underwing Mitts by Erica. Uh -oh. Erica Hansen? Uh, I don't know. It'll, it'll be on the on the screen. I'll make sure I put it on the screen and link her below. Um, <clears throat> but I made these out of some uh, merino wool and um, an Angora rabbit not wool, fur, <laughs> I guess. But I actually I actually bought the Angora by mistake. Um, and because it, it was just an Amazon purchase and, uh, it's the same, it's all the same brand of yarn that I bought, but just like that random white one was Angora and, um, the other one, the other two colors that I used were just merino wool. So, but anyway, so these were actually really fast to knit up, which was good because I didn't start them for my friend's birthday until the day of her actual birthday <laughs> because I am an awful friend. <laughs> but uh, she lives out of state, so uh, she actually was coming here to visit in in February, so she just was here uh, this past weekend, and I gave them to her then. So it, it worked out, <laughs> but I felt bad. I was like, hey, I text her, hey, happy birthday. I didn't even start your birthday gift yet. <laughs> So, oopsie. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, she really liked them. And um, yeah, hopefully she'll get a lot of use out of them. I did have to tell her that they're, you know, hand wash only. <laughs> so hopefully um, she won't mind that. Uh, they, they're more or less to me just like fashion mitts. So I don't think they're going to get like incredibly dirty, but who knows. So that is my only finished object for the month of February. And then I have a new stitching start. <laughs> so I was feeling some FOMO and I just wanted to start something new. I don't know why I get overwhelmed with the amount of projects that I have. And my the amount of projects I have isn't really even that many. <laughs> and the amount of active projects I have is even less because I can't handle all like doing them all at the same time. Um, but I just was like, I really want to start this. <laughs> so I started the um, Good Luck Bear chart that was put out by Blushing Pink Stitches. Uh, she has an Etsy shop and a, and a floss tube channel. And, uh, and I used to watch her when she did booktube. She hasn't been doing booktube. But, um, but she does a lot of floss tube now and she's she has an Etsy shop where she started to uh, chart different artwork. And I just thought that these are so cool. Um, these uh, Care Bears as real bears. <laughs> and it worked out perfectly because Maggie from Kitchy Whips is doing a totally tubular sow. Um, prob I mean, it starts this year, but it probably will just go on for as long as we want it to go on. Um, but she, it, the totally tubular sow is to do um, patterns from the 80s. But I don't have any patterns from the 80s and I don't know how to find like vintage patterns that aren't going to cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> so I, um, I just, I, when I saw this one, I was like, well, this would be perfect. So I bought it on a whim. And then I looked at it and saw how big it was going to be and freaked out a little bit. So I him hawed around about it and I decided I was going to try 40 count linen one over one. <laughs> so uh, I feel a little insane. I haven't really gotten very far, but here's what I have. Okay, so this little bit is what I have so far. <laughs> I am doing one over one uh, tent stitch because uh, clearly these holes are super duper tiny and I actually started out, there might even be a few stitches. Oh yeah, the first few stitches, I don't know if you can tell. Ooh, ah, oh gosh, here we go. We're gonna do it a different way. 
<laughs> we're on the struggle bus today. Um, this first few stitches I actually did in full crosses and I could just tell that was going to be not good. So <laughs> I just, I went to tent stitch. So we'll see how that goes. Um, me and tent stitch don't always get along, but it might work out hopefully. Um, but I think this will be a really fun stitch to do. Um, but I have to get back to it. Uh, that will potentially come in March because I have some like rotation ideas so that I'm not being totally monogamous to my obsessive project. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Okay, sorry, I had to attend to something. <laughs> so um, my next project that I'll show you is my obsessive project that has made me forget about everything else in life for the whole month of February. I might have to back up for this. Let's see. Here we go. This is, I can't even see what you can see. <laughs> there we go. This is where I am on Mini Winning Putt by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is, oh gosh. Whew. This is done. Here, here, we'll do this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> um, this is done on uh, 20 count Ada and full crosses, uh, two over two over one, full cross. And I am, I think I'm almost at 60%. Uh, I did a little bit of uh, cross country with the 310, the black 310, but um, I was not confident enough to go like all over, like there, cause there's still a bottom row that I have to do. And I was like, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with that right now. So I'm just going across um, you know, the second row of pages and yeah, I am really excited about my progress. I have, oh, I need to put this down for a second. <laughs> um, I have put in, let's see, I'm looking at my, at my, uh, notes. I have put in a total as of today. I have not done my stitching yet today. Um, as of the filming of this, I put in 8,460 stitches in it in the month of February. Um, and I have totaled what I have left. Um, if, well, if I don't do any stitching today at all, which is not likely, <laughs> but if I would for some reason not be able to do anything today, I would need to complete 11,855 stitches per month to have this done by um, by June 1st, which is my uh, deadline <laughs> for myself. So I uh, feel like I might be being pretty monogamous on this for the next three months, um, which is fine because I am really enjoying it. There is enough color variation now that, um, that I think uh, I, I will enjoy this being my main stitching piece, that means um, that I need to complete uh, roughly 380 stitches a day on this piece, um, with which I do have a little bit of wiggle room because my ultimate goal is to have it done by Father's Day in the U.S., which is uh, June 18th. So I don't need to have it like framed or whatever. That's, that's not my goal is to have it like fully finished just the stitching part done um, by Father's Day. So I do have a little bit of wiggle room. Not much though. <laughs> so um, there's already been a few days where I have not gotten my um, number of stitches that I need, but uh, I thought it would be a good idea to do my monthly goal totals um, so that I know like if there are days that I'm behind um, where I should be, if like if there's a weekend where I can catch up that I don't have anything going on and I can just basically stitch all day, which let's be honest, a lot of my weekends, that's how I roll anyway. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, if, if that's the case, then um, then hopefully I will be able to stay caught up because two in May is my birthday and my dad's birthday. And we often like do a lot of stuff 
during that that week because our our birthdays are a week apart actually <laughs> so um <clears throat> if we do something for like multiple days have family things whatever i probably won't get a lot of stitching done so i'm going to need to try to step up my game which means that i will probably have to try to do more than 380 stitches on a lot of days <laughs> so <laughs> so that's probably going to mean that I'm going to be a monogamous stitcher for a while, um, more or less. So I'm going to try to throw in some variety, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay, you might as well know, guys, that I am never going to be a cool floss tuber that does not have to edit things out. It's just not my life. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I admire people that are just like continuous with their, uh, with their floss tubes and they just never shut off the camera. I can't do that. <laughs> I got too much going on in my brain. I get uh, too much talking voice and I have to cough. Things are happening. I have to put stuff away. It's it's a mess. So, so anyway, back to stitching. Um, my next whip is, I'm going to call this, well, I can't even call it a finish, I guess. Um, but I did finish my February... Uh, Temperature Drink Shelf by, um, oh gosh, Caitlin's Corner. Yeah, I think it's Caitlin's Corner um, on Etsy. And uh, this is what it looks like. Whoop, hello. Yeah, I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> this is what it looks like now. I got January's and February's done. That big blank box in the middle of that is going to have uh, 2023 in it. So that is the only thing I haven't finished on there yet. Um, plus the shelves need to have their scroll work done and there has to be a title put in at the top. But, um, but I'm just kind of focused on the drinks at this point, uh, getting the temperatures in. So uh, this is done on 18 count Ada. And um, my goal, I think, for March is to make this a um, stitch 30 until I get the outline of all the drinks done and the shelf. And then after that, I will just, it actually worked out fairly well for me to just take a weekend and stitch in all the, all the um, temperatures from the month in one weekend instead of trying to keep up with it. That's just, I don't know, that doesn't always work for me. <laughs> so I would rather just get the outline done and then, um, you know, just keep track of the what I need and then just take, um, you know, a couple hours and fill in all the, all the drinks because they really don't take long once you get uh, everything else stitched in. So, so yeah, this is um, working out pretty well for me this year so far. Um, there's a little bit of prep every month, but it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, I think I should be able to keep up with this. My next whip is It Is Well by My Big Toe Designs. I have been working on this as my Sunday stitch with, uh, well, I was working on it with my friends, uh, Alicia from, um, oh gosh, my, advent oh, Adventures in Stitching. I was gonna reverse that somehow. Adventures of Stitching. <laughs> and um, Tara from One Stitch at a Time. Tara is completely done. She's been done for a while. Um, Alicia is almost done, but she is wintering in Florida and ran out of her floss. <laughs> so she said I might get uh, caught up to her if I don't get it done or if I get it done before April. So that's, I mean, um, that's kind of going to be my plan. But I actually have not worked on this in uh, probably... I didn't work on it this Sunday, um, and I don't know if I worked on it the previous week either. I think I did a little bit, but here is where I am currently, and uh, so I haven't worked on this in a while. Like I said, um, I will try to remember to insert a picture of where it was beforehand, um, and yeah, a little bit's gotten done. I, I think beforehand I didn't have hardly any of this main it is well phrase done. This is done on, um, I think it is, did I put this down? Yeah, 20 count, 20 count Ada that I had left over from something and I, so I uh, tea dyed it myself. So I really like the result and I'm using anchor floss in um, 
couple different reds. Uh, I decided to go with like a more monochromatic color scheme. I bought three different reds, but you really can't tell the difference between two of them. You can tell that this is darker than this, um, but otherwise you can't really tell. <laughs> so, because there's a couple different colors of red in here and I feel like you can't tell at all. So that's all right. I'll just use the two, two different threads. So this is going to eventually go into a stitchy journal that um, I was kind of calling a prayer journal, <laughs> but it'll probably just be like a, a stitching journal. Um, but I want to fill it up with some like more, um, more uh, religious pieces. So I really like it and I really should focus on it more right now because it is Lent. So <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> but so yeah, maybe I will try to uh, pull it out a couple more times than just Sundays. Um, try to get it done. We'll see. <laughs> and then actually the last thing that I worked on in the month of February was Jane Eyre, a portrait by Mrs. Pagodi Arts on Etsy. And this is going to be a companion piece to that lady up there, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in the Flamingo is the... Um, the title of the design on, on Mrs. Pagodi Arts. Um, but Jane Eyre is going to be a companion to it that's going to go in another frame that is over here. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to get the same mat for it because it has generally the same colors. Um, but here is where I am currently. And my original plan was to try to get an entire page done. Uh, every month. But then whenever I got really obsessed with trying to get winning pet done, that just really didn't happen. But I'm okay with that. I'm just going to keep plugging away on it. I think I might make this um, after I do my um, outlining for the March temperatures. Uh, I think I will make this my daily 30 for the month of March to see if I can um, maybe get this whole this whole thing done because this I feel like okay so <laughs> my original plan was there's like a little strip here that's its own separate page um so my original thought was oh yeah I could do this whole row row in a month um because it's 14 count Ada there's really not that many stitches it goes pretty fast but I just got so bogged down with other things I just didn't make time for it um but I feel like if I make this my day, my stitch 30 daily, um, then maybe I could get that done. And then I would just, I, I would still be, I would still be within range of my goal <laughs> for this because I've basically done half of a page, uh, in the month of February. So this would be like a full page and a half page. Um, so I'd still be within range of my of my goals for a page a month. But yeah, this will get done eventually. There's not really any hard and fast date, but uh, due date for it. But I would just, I'd like to get it done because I think at this point, this is my oldest whip. So yeah, I'd like to get it done. Okay, so now I will just show you my one little bit of um, happy mail, uh, stitchy kindness that I received on as a total fluke. Um, my friend Mandy, uh, heard me talking about a sale that, uh, Heaven and Earth Designs was having in February and she just randomly bought me a pattern. So she bought me, um, oh, sorry for the glare, uh, QS Wonderlust 2, um, by Amy Stewart. Let me try to see, that's what it, that's what it will look like when it's done. So I had this on my wish list and it's just beautiful. I really want to do it. Um, it, it and it isn't really that big either. Um, it'll, it's on 25 count. Wait, what, what did I just do? Technology. <laughs> um, on 25 count fabric, uh, which I probably won't do anymore. I think I'm going to, um, do a lot of things on 22 count. I'm not going to restart uh, things that I already started on um, 25 count, but I think going forward, I might try just 22 count uh, Hardinger for all my stuff and maybe try like one over one full crosses on them. Um, but this one would be uh, 15 by 17 and a quarter. 
if it was done on 25. So it's not really like that huge, but yeah. So I was excited to get that and it was totally random and I was really, it's a random act of kindness. <laughs> so that was my one piece of haul, happy mail uh, that I received this month. And that's really it. Hopefully this was kind of a shorter video after I edit out all my little cuts and everything. Um, but I just wanted to pop in and show you what I've been working on and hope that you're okay with maybe not seeing as many projects over the next couple of months and just maybe seeing my um, progress on uh, mini winning putt and like a little bit, a spattering of other things here and there. Um, as far as March goes, what I'm going to try to do is March is a big uh, month in the booktube community uh, because it is middle grade March where we read a lot of middle grade um, books and which is like children's books but like chapter chapter books you know young adult uh, little, little younger than young adult. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, and then March Mystery Madness. So I decided not to do what, which is where we read mysteries clearly. Um, <laughs> so I decided not to do March Stitchy Madness, um, just because like, I not, I need to get a uh, mini winning putt done. Um, in my head, it has a, uh, deadline, so it's going to have to get done. So, I decided not to do that, but I am going to attempt to vlog. Um, and uh, Sarah from the Stitchin' Mommy has been, for the month of February, putting in little clips of her progress on her full coverages uh, at the end of her podcast. And I think that's what I'm going to do interspersed with my reading vlogs. So if, <laughs> if you like reading as well, um, hopefully you will pop on to those videos. Um, because I'm going to be putting in my um, progress on my stitching on there as well. So, um, and you know, if you're a booktube friend watching this, then that probably means you are into that. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're not, then, um, then yeah, I guess you'll just see me at the end of the month for a wrap up here. So but yeah, all right, friends, I am going to now go film my... Um, my booktube TBR video for uh, the month of March, um, which is is going to be a long one, I think. <laughs> so I hope you are having a good month um, and that you're ready for March. And hopefully a lot of you that are having really bad snowy weather will be able to uh, start thawing out in March, hopefully. Um, it can be hit or miss in Pennsylvania. <laughs> we, we've had a pretty easy uh, where I live so far. Um, so we'll see what March brings, but all right, friends, I will talk to you soon. Bye.